Good morning. It is what time? Uh, 928 a.m. on Saturday, December 31st, 2016. New Year's Eve. <gasps> I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So New Year's Eve as the last vacation night um, before going back to work on Monday is not the optimal time to have a sleep schedule all messed up from vacation, but what are you going to do? <laughs> it was weird, actually, because I woke up this morning, Luna, you know, whining at me to go out, and I was feeling like it must be super early, but it was already past 9 o'clock, and I was like, what? First of all, that she let me sleep in that long, but also I wasn't up that late. I'm also got a little bit of a stuffy nose. I hope I'm not getting sick. That would stink. Although, in the grand scheme of things, uh, I thankfully didn't get sick while I was out in Colorado. That would have been worse. But I would rather, I'd prefer to not get sick at all, honestly. I mean, you know, I don't want to take a controversial stance here, but um, I personally don't especially enjoy being sick. You know, I'm not I don't want to judge anybody else's choices, but uh, that's for me. For me, being sick's not a good time. <laughs> um, Mike and I recorded an episode of Talking About Stuff last night. Primarily what we talked about are uh, cable cutting, um, you know, from the perspective of leaving the big uh, cable companies or satellite for alternatives, in particular, PlayStation View is the one that Mike's trying, and he uh, talked about that a fair amount. Then we also talked a bunch about the present and future of virtual reality as a medium, and, you know, what medium is it most like, or is it really its own thing? How do you market that? What's the future of it? and all of that sort of thing, and I thought it was a pretty good discussion, uh, considering, it, you know, neither of us are technology experts or futurists or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good time, so I'm going to post video of that this morning and probably try to go ahead and get the audio podcast uh, episode up uh, this morning as well. Um, and, you know, plans for the day. Um, I've kind of... Um, delayed and delayed and delayed making some other plan for tonight enough that probably I'm just going to default to hanging out at home which is like as I mentioned it's fine with me really um you know like if something comes up and it's like oh hey at the last minute here's this awesome thing you could do I might still be willing to look into that but uh by and large um you know hanging out with my dog still a good time and I don't know, New Year's Eve has never been something like, you know, I celebrate it in the sense that it's a, treated as a holiday and it's a good time and all that. But I don't know, like I personally don't put a lot of stock in, uh, you know, like, oh, you have to make a big deal about, oh, it's the end of one year and the start of another. Although to be sure, uh, this year, Feel like a lot more than normal there's been kind of a social media sense that somehow 2016 is especially bad and you know i i know everybody's being silly nobody thinks that there's like anthropomorphized year that's out to get everybody but it's also true that you know we as humans can find emotional closure in the sense of leaving something behind that's been painful. And so, um, you know, if, if people are able to find some com comfort or hope in the idea that we're finishing one chapter and starting the next uh, as a world, um, then good. Um, I, you know, I, you know, similar to my opinion about... Uh, not enjoying getting sick. You know, I, I don't want to tell other people how to celebrate New Year's Eve. I'm, I'm gracious that way. <laughs> uh, so in any case, you know, that's uh, got uh, 
normal weekend's worth left of vacation before going back to work and uh, I'm continuing to enjoy it. Uh, yesterday was not especially productive in terms of the cleaning or the writing, but, uh, you know, a good day nonetheless. Watching a bunch of Critical Role. Oh, man, I'm plowing through that show. There's so much of it, but I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. I have to replace it with something else, I suppose. Anyway, uh, I will uh, go ahead and wrap it up for right here, right now. Right here, right now. And talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. And even though it's New Year's Day, I'm still going to do my um, normal Sunday uh, Avatar The Last Airbender rewatch. If you haven't been watching those uh, videos, uh, tomorrow's video will be part one of the season one finale two-parter. So, in case anyone was wondering. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.